ZTL09 or ZTL11 or ST1. The ZTL09 is a Chinese fire support vehicle. This fire support vehicle is currently in production. It seems that it is fielded in large numbers. The ZTL09 is based on the ZBL09 wheeled 8x8 armored personnel carrier chassis and is fielded alongside similar vehicles. Currently, China builds rapid deployment units, similar to American Striker Brigade combat teams. Each unit consists of various armored vehicles with different battlefield roles. All variants are based on the same platform of the ZBL09 armored personnel carrier. The ZTL09 supplements the previous PTL02 fire support vehicle, based on the 6x6 APC chassis. However the ZTL09 is overall a more capable vehicle, fitted with a more powerful gun. Turret of this fire support vehicle resembles that of the ZBD2000 amphibious light tank. The ZTL09 is armed with a 105mm gun. The gun is loaded manually. It has an effective range of over 2000 meters against armored targets. It is speculated that its heat round penetrates between 460 and 500 millimeters of rolled homogeneous steel armor. This vehicle also fires APFSDS he rounds. Furthermore, the ZTL-09 is also compatible with anti-tank guided missiles. These laser-guided missiles are launched in the same manner as ordinary projectiles. Anti-tank missiles are based on the Russian 9M117 Bastion technology. Missiles have a maximum range of 5,000 meters and penetrate 550 to 600 millimeters of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor blocks. Hit probability against static targets is 90%. Missiles can also target low-flying helicopters. It is claimed that the ZTL-09 is fitted with modern and accurate fire control system. However, it lacks a commander's panoramic sight. So it has got no hunter-killer capability that is present on most modern vehicles of this class. Still though this fire support vehicle is fitted with digital battlefield management system that is also present on all recent Chinese armored vehicles. Such system increases situational awareness and improves cooperation between various units on the battlefield. Defensive armament consists of coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and roof-mounted 12.7mm machine gun. This vehicle has a welded steel armor hull with add-on ceramic armor modules. Chinese sources claim that maximum level of protection is against 25mm armor-piercing rounds at the front and 12.7mm armor-piercing rounds all round. It is speculated that vehicle utilizes design elements and technologies protecting occupants from landmines and IED blasts. Vehicle is also likely to have NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. The ZTL-09 has a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. This fire support vehicle is based on the ZBL-09 wheeled armored personnel carrier. However, significant changes have been made to the chassis. Engine was relocated. On the ZBL-09 it was mounted at the front. On the ZTL-09 it is just behind the turret. It is possible that the new fire support vehicle uses the same engine as on the APC. In this case it is a Deutz BF6 M1015C diesel engine, developing 440 horsepower. It is a German engine, produced in China under license. Engine is mated to an automatic transmission. Vehicle is fitted with a central tire inflation system. This system improves mobility over difficult terrain. The ZTL-09 is fully amphibious. It is an unusual feature for this class of vehicles. Most other fire support vehicles cannot cross lakes and rivers on their own. On water this vehicle is propelled by two water jets. 